Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to my home. My name is Becky, and I'm so excited that you're here today. Well, today, my plan is to start decorating for Easter. <clears throat> I just, you know, I just got up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got up. It's already 9 o'clock. This time change is just messing with my head, and um, I feel like it's already late, and it's, I just got up, you know? So, it's Saturday. I did not get to do anything on Thursday because my coworker was out sick and I had to fill in for her. So we've already kind of lost a whole day to decorate and David's home today, but we're going to do our best to get Easter decor put up today and maybe a little bit tomorrow after I get home from church. I'm going to try my best to get it all done this weekend. Um, I'm going to go out to the bin. As you can see, it's a rainy day today. So you're uh, gonna notice that it's not as bright and cheerful and sunny as uh, you would, you know, typically like to see an Easter video. But we've got to work with what the Lord has given us, and today He's given us a rainy day. And I love rainy days. It's, as long as it's not thundering and lightning, I'm fine. I love days like this where you can just kind of cozy up in in your house and and just be home. That's my favorite type type of day. Um, I'm gonna fix myself some breakfast and then I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna pull all of my bins in. I do have a lot of Easter decor. What I would like to focus on is the table, the tear tray, which I consider one, the hutch. I really wanna use those dishes that were gifted to me, so I'm gonna do the hutch. I wanna do the kitchen, just a few little spots in the kitchen, which is easy. And I would really like to get my little miniature tree. Well, it's not miniature, it's about that big um, I'd like to get my tree decorated so those are the four main things that I would like to focus on I normally take this whole shelf here down and reconstruct it for Easter but I may not have time to do that I'm just gonna kind of see how much momentum I have by the time I get those four main things done and then we'll we'll try to decide from there but I do have a lot of Easter decor I've probably got four bins plus some extras laying out there 2020 when everything reopened and we were finally allowed to go shopping again I got quite a bit of Easter decor like on super clearance so I just kind of went a little crazy plus I hadn't been able to shop in so long so I went a little crazy 20, 2020 after the pandemic um, you know after we were allowed to go shopping so if you see a lot of stuff that's why um, but I'm trying to get my new stuff and my old stuff to mix together. And when I say old stuff, I mean vintage stuff. Like, you know, I've been trying to pick up some vintage items because that's more my style now. So I like to mix the old and the new, but you'll be able to see all that. I'm gonna get my um, self started here. I'm gonna grab some breakfast and, and get going. Before I do that, I have to, I have to share with you something, something um, that my niece gave me. Let me grab them. So she bought me um, a piece of Pyrex for Easter. I'll show, no, I'm sorry, not for Easter, for Christmas. And I just got it yesterday. She bought me a little piece of Pyrex Crazy Daisy pattern. And she said, I have something else for you too, which I love that and that was enough. But um, she got me these earrings and I have to show them to you. Look at these. And I don't know where she got them from. Are those not the cutest thing? My hands are shaking. Are those not the cutest things you've ever seen? There's a little bit of a glare there. They're little nesting bowls, Pyrex nesting bowls, and it's the two patterns that I collect. <laughs> I can't wait to wear these. I put on my Easter shirt today for this video, but I'm gonna be wearing these in upcoming videos, so be prepared. All right, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna grab some breakfast and then go grab my Easter decor. that was in those bins and I did bring out five bins but one of them is mostly um, stuff that I use on Easter day when we have dinner like plates and napkins and tablecloth and the games that we play and all of that a lot of this was handmade like I made that 
I made those two blue plates. I made a lot of this. I made that little banner right there from Dollar Tree Bunnies. A lot of this was thrifted. A lot of this I've had for years and years. Um, a, a lot of this is new. This is obviously new. I got that from Kirkland's last year, or two years ago, actually. Um, like I said, a lot of this I got on clearance after the pandemic ended and I was able to go shopping again. So some of this is new, some of this is vintage. So here's my problem. I've got all of this stuff that doesn't necessarily match each other because it's two different styles. It's two different parts of my life. I didn't even decorate for Easter last year because um, I just, I, I don't know, I think I got overwhelmed. There's a few pieces that I'm gonna pick out and show you. I'm not gonna do like a whole introduction to everything, but I am gonna show you a few special pieces that I think you'll enjoy. And um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff and I'm, there's no way I'm gonna use all of this. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and talk to you for a minute. I wanna show you just a few of my favorite pieces in my collection. I've got way too much over here to show you everything, but you know when Halloween rolled around, I did the same thing and it went over pretty well. I just picked out a few of my favorite, most uh, prized pieces and I shared them with you and you guys seem to enjoy that. But before I show you that, I wanna show you a couple of crafts that I've gotten. So this first piece here, I have these two wooden bunnies and they are made out of just a plain wooden block. There's the back, just some of David's scrap wood. And where I got this idea from is another YouTuber, she also has an Instagram, is Country Charm by Tracy. And I'm going to put her handle down at the bottom so that you can look her up if you're interested in doing this craft. She does all kinds of crafts that are um, craft show worthy. I mean, this is not, your typical Dollar Tree craft. These are, she puts her whole heart into painting these and they're just as easy in my opinion because even though this looks kind of intricate, it's just straight lines and splatters and squares. I mean, she shows you in the simplest way how to paint these rabbits and all kinds of other things she has. The rabbits were just where, what I was uh, drawn to. So I did make these based on her tutorial. So if these look like something you'd like to make, definitely look her up. I actually made these a few years ago and I put them on her Instagram. I tagged her and she responded. She was really excited to see that I had um, made her craft. And that's always fun when you're doing something on here and someone makes it and shares it with you. So if you guys ever make anything that I show you how to make, tag me on Instagram because I would really love to see it. It really makes our day. But that's the first craft that I wanna show you. You're gonna see those later. The other thing is, I know you guys have seen the, um, at Hobby Lobby they have napkin rings and their little bunny ears. And I like them a lot, but I thought, you know what, I, I can make those. Why buy them when I can make them? So I got some toilet, well, this is probably paper towel roll because it's a little thicker, but I got some paper towel roll and some white and pink felt and some pipe cleaners and I made my own. And all you do is you cut that uh, paper towel roll, you wrap it in felt and you can see on the inside where I glued it together. And then I cut out the shape of the ears and then you can kind of see the skeleton in the ears, but that's where the pipe cleaner goes. That way you can bend your ears how you want them, if you want them to stick up straight, if you want them to lop, one to lop over. However you want to do it, you can manipulate it with that pipe cleaner in there. Without the pipe cleaner, they're just going to stand straight up. But I like them so much that I wanted to make some ornaments for my tree with them. You know, we made some ornaments the other day. This is something that might interest you as well. It's just as easy and just as simple, probably more if we're being honest, but I made the same thing in a smaller version. I used just a paper towel holder or toilet paper holder, whatever you have, and just a, a thinner version and I wrapped that felt around there. Now, my inspiration for these were the little bunny ears that you get from Dollar Tree, that was the inspiration. And I originally had them separated down here, but I, as you can see, I glued them together because they weren't, you know, laying just right the way that I wanted them. And you weren't getting the bunny ears 
idea from it. It was just kind of, they were flopping out. So had I put a pipe cleaner in there, they would have been perfect. Hindsight's 2020, where this is what we have. <laughs> so I just made a smaller version of the ears, glued them on, I pinched them together at the bottom to give them that little look of the ears. And that's gonna be an extra ornament for my Easter tree. So that's another idea for you um, if you're interested. And now I'm gonna show you a few of my vintage pieces that bring me joy, bring, bring me so much joy, I can't even tell you. I've shown you all of my new pieces that I got this year. I'm trying to incorporate some vintage into what I already have, and what I already have is all modern. I still need to use the modern, but the vintage is where my heart is, and that's what I'm trying to add in. So I got this picture, it's a painting, a few years ago, about three or four years ago, and the price tag on the back is still on. I paid $10 for it. It is an original piece. It is actually a little damaged. If you'll listen, or you can actually see too, the person who originally put it together didn't tighten it enough. And I did actually take it apart and try to tighten it up, but it's, it's pretty stuck the way it is right now. It's not pulling any tighter, but it's fine. Um, I still love it. And I forgot to mention earlier the four places that we're going to decorate. I left my mantle out and you know I'm going to decorate my mantle. I decorate my mantle for everything. So this is going to go up there. And the way that I normally do it, well, let me back up. This is what I plan to put up there because you know sometimes I get carried away and I change everything that I say I'm going to do. But the way that I plan on doing it is I want to layer it. And I learned that from Liz, my favorite YouTuber, Liz from Traditions by the Season. She teaches us to layer when we do these vignettes and these shells. So hi Liz, um, I want to put a bigger frame around it, layer it, you know how I do my mantle, and that's what I plan to do with this beautiful bunny painting. And then we've got some kitschy Easter over here. This piece was my mother's. I've told you numerous times that I don't have anything that was my mother's. Um, all of her stuff that she had was, is, has been destroyed and I don't have hardly anything unless she gave it to me before she passed away, specifically take this. I want you to have it. I don't have anything, but my sister had this and every time I went to her house at Easter, she would have it out and I would just drool over it. And she ended up giving it to me. <laughs> she said it was a little creepy anyway, but this is my most prized possession in my Easter decor. And I don't know, I would say probably this is a 60s piece. I, I'm not sure you guys tell me, but isn't this the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your life? I have some little baskets that go in here and some eggs and I decorate him up and I love him so much and I could cry, I love him so much. Um, the other piece that is uh, my second favorite are these little guys, mommy and, or husband and wife. They are made in Japan. That's all it says on the bottom is made in Japan, but these are perfect kitschy 60s bunnies, and I love these. They are the cutest little bunnies. I, they actually, I thought that they were hobbyist pieces from the way that they're painted, because they're kind of crudely painted, if, you're, if we're being honest, for a Japanese piece, but it says on the bottom, there's a sticker right there, made in Japan. I know you probably can't see that, but these are very near and dear to me too. I love these. Um, I also found this little basket. It is more than likely a hobbyist piece because of the way it's painted. And I found these little eggs. They're little fabric covered eggs. And there's two blue, two red, and two yellow. And they match perfectly with my little kitschy bunnies. So those are another favorite piece of mine. This piece here, I don't know where I got it, probably the thrift store, but isn't he cute? Um, it's kind of like a paper, a picture that was just paper mache or Mod Podge to this wooden piece. On the back, it says Small World Plaque, so it's probably like a small company. I, I'm not sure. And then the other thing that I have, I don't, I know that I paid $3 for them. I got them at a thrift store. I've never used them before. They're salt and pepper shakers, but I don't know the age or anything, but I just thought they were too cute to leave there, and I brought them home to put in my tiered tray. 
And then of course we have, um, this is not old, this is not, I guess I should have did this with the craft part of it, but I just printed out some vintage Easter cards or um, images, and these will go in the tiered tray. So these are always fun, cheap, easy decor to use when you're trying to add some, some vintage into your style. So those are my favorite pieces. All that right there. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to put up the things that I know I wanna use the most. Those are gonna be the first thing. And then we're just gonna see where the wind blows us. I don't know. It's not gonna be planned. We're gonna kinda do it as we, you're gonna watch me do it as I figure it out. But I know that certain pieces that I'm definitely gonna use, so we're gonna start with that and go from there. So what I thought I would do is start with my hutch because I know that I'm going, I know what I'm gonna put up there. I'm gonna put these dishes that Monica gave me. And I think they're gonna match well, and you're gonna hear that in the back because David's out there working. He's trying to give me some space to do this. So just ignore it. He's uh, making a, he's not making anything for us today. He's making a bench for a local gun store that, that they can sit out in front of their storefront. So that's what he's doing. I know I'm gonna use these plates and I know they're going up there. So I'm gonna start with the things that I know I'm gonna use. And I think that my decor is gonna match these plates because I do have, you know, obviously I have lots of oranges and greens and browns with everything. So let's start with that. I'm just gonna kind of put these up and then go from there. We'll decide what, what we're gonna to add to it after. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder
Okay, I'm gonna peek over the camera because I want you to be able to see the whole cabinet. So you saw that I added those orange dishes. That was kind of another, like an extra decision after because when I got the plates up there, they were kind of getting lost with the white background. I'm not ready to take that paper down because I really am enjoying it. I haven't, I know it's not permanent, but it's serving the purpose for now and I don't want to take it down just yet. So I'm going to leave the paper up. So for the time being, we're going to add those orange plates back there and they just kind of make those other plates pop. So I love the orange. Um, I know that's not a typical Easter color, but in my house it is. And orange is my favorite color and my whole house is <laughs> decorated with it. The problem is, is that I've got to figure out how to incorporate the orange with the pastel. And I do have a lot of pastels for Easter. Um, if you look closely, there's some pink in these dishes. So I'm gonna draw that pink out also. But I primarily have tried to keep neutral decor up here just so it doesn't get too busy. And it's gonna be busy. I mean, it is what it is, but we're gonna go through it together. So we're gonna start with this bottom shelf here and I have not decorated with these in a long time. So I thought that I would bring them out. They're the little toolboxes. I had put them in David's study. He didn't keep them in there because he had, you know, he liked the, the way that I had it decorated. If you haven't seen that video, I decorated his, his little office. He had a few shelves up there and I thought it was adorable, but it just, you know, he's, he's a man. He wants his stuff up there. So that's fine. It didn't hurt my feelings. So I'm going to drag these back out because I like the green and we're going to put them down here. I'm gonna replace the, I'm gonna put these up here and put this right here. So what I thought I would do, let me find it, is put a little bit of Easter grass down there. Now this is more rustic Easter grass. You can use the bright colors if you want, but I thought I'd kind of stick that in there just to make a little Easter vignette. I know you probably can't see that, but we'll take a close-up view in just a few minutes. And if you remember, when I was doing some thrifting, I found these, and they had the little wooden carrots as well. And I was telling you that these are going to match those dishes that Monica gave me perfectly, so I definitely wanted to put the bunnies in here. So I'm going to put him, just kind of tuck him in the grass, um, just sporadically. And I also have those little paper Easter images. And I'm going to use my little frog and tuck that frog in that grass. And then just tuck my little pitcher in there. So it's just kind of popping out of the top. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> All right, so that's the first part to our bottom shelf. And then, you know, we've got a lot going on already, so let's not go too crazy. I've got this little wooden bunny. It's modern, it's new, and I told you guys that I wanted to try to incorporate the old, the vintage with my modern stuff because I wanna use it all. And I'm gonna put that over here in the corner, just like that. Okay, and then over on the other side, I've told you about my trashy romance novels. I use these all the time. I got these for free at the on the outside of um, our Habitat for Humanity. They have a little shelf and they say take anything for free. So I just took the page or the covers off of these old trashy romance novels and wrapped them up with twine and I use them as risers. So if you're new to my channel, that's why I call them trashy romance novels because that's literally what they are. And then you'll remember I bought these the other day from the antique store. And I'm just gonna put them on top of my books. And down here at the bottom, I'm gonna put another one of these, Im these Easter images. And I have two frogs. That's all the frogs that I have. So we're gonna use them both here in this vignette. All right, we're just gonna kinda I like to put them kind of crooked so they're not just completely straight. All right, and then I have some pink florals. I'm gonna draw the pink out of that 
plate. So I'm just gonna tuck these in the corner. This is gonna be used as my greenery. Instead of actual greenery, we're gonna use these. And hopefully, hopefully it'll work because, you know, like we've got some pretty dark oranges up here and then we've got these pastels. Typically those two don't go together. So we're gonna just try it out. We can always take it down, right? If it doesn't look good. I'm just gonna tuck those in the corner. And again, I'll show you a close up after we're done. All right, let's move up to the second shelf. The second shelf, as you saw, we, um, we moved the cream and sugar up. So what I wanna do is, let me find it. I wanna make one of them higher than the other. So I'm gonna use a set of books and just make one rise up a little bit. And then I have one more Easter image and I'm just gonna tuck that into the creamer. If I had another frog, I would use that to make it stand exactly still the way I want it, but I only own two. Always on the lookout for those. All right, now again, I'm trying not to use a lot of bright colors in the decor because I don't want it to get crazy, crazy up there. I wanna to try to keep it as neutral as possible. Um, and then just pops of color. So I have this little rabbit. He came from the Dollar General. He's definitely modern. I tied the bow on there. I'm gonna stick him in the corner here. And then over here on the other side, I've got another book and I've got this little rabbit. Let me show him to you. He's, an actu he's actually a piece of pottery that was made by someone. It's signed at the bottom or on the inside. This was a gift, an Easter gift from my sister. She got it at a local boutique and he has a little sunflower in his hand. So he's really precious to me too. I'm gonna put this book here and we're gonna put our little bunny there. And again, we're gonna put some little floral, little floral picks there to just brighten it up a little bit. So we're just gonna tuck these in. If I had a lot of extra green picks, I could use those. But the only ones that I have left, they're all around the house already, and I don't wanna go buy any more, are the ones that I spray painted for fall. So even though it has the orange, I don't know that I wanna use the fall florals or the fall greenery because I think I might be going, I might be pushing my luck with the orange a little bit with that. So we're gonna use these pink ones and just, Add just a little touch of, just a little touch of spring. Okay. That one needs to be trimmed a little bit, I think. I'm using about two on each vignette. It, it seems to be just enough. And I had this little chocolate bunny here. He's vintage. He was probably hand painted. And I'm gonna sit him right here. All right, that's my second shelf. Do you think it's too much? Do you think it's a little busy? Am I going a little overboard? Well, I am now, so hold, just hold tight. <laughs> All right, so I was looking around trying to decide what to use next, and um, well, I saw my beautiful, these are the colors of my soul. I've, we've talked about these before. These are my little canisters. I have two of them. They have green lids, and you know, they just were drawing me to them to put up there. I don't know why, if it's the yellow and the orange, and I, I don't know why, but they needed to be up there, and I decided that I was gonna make that happen. So, those are gonna go up there next. I gotta first put a little riser up so that I've got one taller than the other. One is slightly bigger than the other. I'm gonna put one there, and one here, and then let me put the lids on. I don't, I try not to move them with the lids on the top because I'm scared they're gonna fall and break. And then I found the most perfect bunny to accentuate my little canisters. And this is the one that came from Hobby Lobby. Even though he does look old, he is brand new. I just bought him this year. And he's gonna go right here in front of the canisters. And 
other side we're gonna do okay we haven't used this to decorate yet I've shown it to you but I haven't used it to decorate with so I'm gonna put this on this end right here and I didn't I couldn't decide what to put on top of it I felt like it needed something but again I'm trying to keep things just a little on the neutral side so I found this little basket and I put these eggs in there these are pretend eggs faux eggs plastic eggs whatever <laughs> they're eggs but they're not real eggs and we're going to put those on top by the way i just realized when i was looking in the camera can't get my finger right these right here i think need to come down for easter i don't think that they're helping or doing any good over there so i think i'm going to take those down for easter and i'll put them back up after so we'll do that in a little bit all right the next thing that I have is this little bunny. This is new. It came from TJ Maxx for $3.99, and he's got a little wooden base. And then I've got this little plastic cloak or glass cloche that came from the thrift store, and he fits perfectly on top. It just worked out that way. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna put him right here. And then, you know, what would be really cute is to add some more of that grass in there. And I may come back and do that. Just, you know, like tuck some in there. We'll, we'll think about that. I'm not sure where to put it just yet, but we're gonna tuck a little bit of our flowers in here and over here, just a touch. All right, we got one more shelf to go and then we'll be done with this. So top shelf, I'm gonna put a book up there for a riser. Put that right here. And I have got this, y'all, this, this bunny looks like he has been eaten by a dog, mauled. He is pitiful looking, but I love him. He was from a thrift store for 258. He, he's, he's like paper mache or something on the inside, so really lightweight. So he's gonna go up there at the top, on top of my stack of books. And then while we're there, while we're on that side, we'll go ahead and put some greenery because I got to move my stool over just a little bit. We're just going to add a little bit of sunshine here. That'll be good. And then let's move our stool over to this side. This is going to be the last. So we've got one more stack of trashy romance novels. These little rabbits here came from Hobby Lobby. They are new, but they kind of look old. And some more of our spring picks here. And that's gonna finish it up. Let me climb a little higher so I don't break anything. I'm gonna put one here, one here. And just tuck that in there. All right, I'm gonna take the camcorder down, or the camcorder, what the heck? I haven't seen a camcorder since 1996. <laughs> I'm gonna take the camera down, and I'm gonna show you a close-up of all the different uh, rows of my, what do you call that thing? My china cabinet. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's starting to get tired. All right, here we go. Here's our close-up version of the bottom shelf. And over here, and then we're going to go up one, our pottery rabbit, and then Dollar General rabbit. Up here, we have that little vignette. I didn't have anything to go in the middle. I felt like it was getting a little too crowded, so I skipped that one. And then we've got that level. Let me climb up on my ladder a little bit, and I'll show you the last one. And then there's this one. You can see the pink. It, it, it works, I think. And then there's that one. So this just kind of tells us the direction we're going. Um, just a, you know, I'm able to add the pastels in with the browns and the greens and the oranges. I don't hate it. I like it. I may change my mind after a little while, but right now I kind of like it. I like the fact that I was able to use some items that I haven't used in a long time, like the scale and the little, the little hardware 
tray, so kind of like it. I think we're gonna move to the dining room table next. So I've been practicing a little bit with what I'm gonna do on the dining room table. I have a general idea. I'm gonna kind of turn the camera around and show you what I have, you know, all of my options. And then we'll put the tier tray together and the table together. The one thing that I know without a shadow of a doubt that's going on the table are my, I call these tulips last time, I think, but they look more like daffodils or opposite. I'm not sure, but these are some more dishes that uh, Monica has sent me, so I know I'm going to use those. Um, I want to stay in this kind of color scheme. Let me turn the camera around. So this is the color scheme that I want to use in the living room and in here. This is all that's making me happy right here. This is all that's inspiring me, that my new stuff. And then I've got some pieces over here. This is the vintage that I want to use, but it is not working in this area with the hutch and the, and the dining room table. So I am thinking about maybe adding the guest bedroom, which is back there, which where Lily sleeps, and maybe doing her room. I always decorate that room anyway. Um, maybe doing her room in the vintage Easter and then keep the rest of the house kind of in this sort of motif, I guess. But let's put this tier tray together. We've got all of this to work with. We'll go over it real quick. Um, I'll just kind of scan over everything that I've got to work with. Some of this we're going to use. Some of this we are not going to use. This is just all of my decor all in one spot. And I usually just lay all the smalls out and then kind of play with the tear tray till I get it the way I want it. And you may recognize some of the stuff. There's Ralphie. You may recognize some of the stuff and because I use it over and over, <laughs> um, but let's get started. I always struggle with exactly where to place this camera so you can see it just like I'm seeing it. But we're gonna start with the top today. We normally start with the bottom, but today we're gonna start with the top. I have this handy dandy cheat sheet that I'm gonna use because I figured it out earlier so I wouldn't make you guys wait four years and I'm just gonna put back what I had up. So we're gonna start with some blocks, some risers. I'm gonna put those there. These little bunnies right here are home interiors from the 90s and I have used them every Easter since then. I loved it. I used to decorate with, um, with bunnies. So I have a lot of bunnies that were gifted to me and that's why I think I have an abundance of bunnies around here. This little guy came from Walmart a couple years ago. He was on clearance. I'm just going to stick him right there and let him, hold on, let me bring the camera up a little bit and let him just kind of sit up there at the top. And I, again, do not have the best angle for this tray. There you go. All right. And then once I get everything decorated, I'm going to come back in with these little moss stones hold on i gotta go behind the camera to get them i have these little moss stones here and i also have these little wicker balls that came from dollar tree i have all these little natural elements that i'm going to add so we'll do that at the end right now let's just get our knickknacks up here okay so let's go down to the second tray i'm going to go right here and we're going to use this little bunny. He's he's that paper mache that I was telling you about earlier. He, really lightweight. I think that came from maybe Hobby Lobby, maybe? I, I'm not sure. This is Hobby Lobby. I know you've all seen this. I'm gonna put that there. And then I have this little piece here. He is probably Home Co. I'm not sure. I've, I got him from the thrift store, or it's a she. She's got babies. See her little babies? Um, she came from a thrift store. I've got some little baskets here that I'm going to use her as a riser. And then I have this little vintage hand, handkerchief. And I'm just going to kind of lay the handkerchief in the baskets and then tuck Mama Bunny right in here in the basket with her babies. And we'll come back a little later and we'll add some stones in here to add some natural elements to it. And then behind that, we're gonna add, I usually put these in first, but 
we're gonna add them now and just add some greenery I always have greenery in my tear tray at all times and then we're gonna go down to the bottom let me move this down just a little bit and we're gonna use let's see let me grab this plate that um, was gifted to me from my friend Kim. She sent this in a little care package the other day. So we're gonna put that right there. I think he fits perfect. No, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put him on this side, right here. Okay, and then we have, doo -doo -doo -doo. where are my little blocks? Okay, we've got some more blocks. I'm gonna use as risers, I'm gonna put that here. These little bunnies were gifted to me years and years ago. Um, I don't know. I think they're Avon. Yeah, they're Avon. And I'm going to put them down here at the bottom. And we'll decorate those up a little bit more in just a few minutes. But I do have these little fat, uh, nests that I stick right there. And then we're going to put some eggs in there shortly. And I have another little piece of greenery. We're just gonna pop right there. And then I have these little duckies that I'm gonna put right here. And I think that's all we need for this side. We're gonna decorate the opposite side as well, but I think this is good for now. So let me find my eggs. I've got these cute little eggs here that probably came from the Dollar Tree. I got a whole bag of them, we got different sizes. And I'm just gonna tuck some of them in the, the nests of the little um, bunnies. So we're gonna use pink, yellow, and green. And I'll use white up here, orange, and we'll use another pink. There we go. That'll work, okay. And let me get my little stones here. I'm just gonna kind of tuck them in all over. Well, you can't see what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's start down here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll get ahead of myself. We're gonna tuck these little stones in right around here, just all over. Can you see? Just all over, and I know you can't see the top, but I'm tucking some in at the top. I'll show you in a minute. And that's all there is to it. Just, just put some natural elements in here. Maybe right here. There we go. Make it look a little fuller. Okay, let me show you a close up. Okay, so here's a close up with all the stones, the bunny on the scooter, second tier, and third tier. I think that's good enough. We're gonna grab a few things and move over to the back side and decorate that side next. The next side, the back side's gonna be so quick and easy. Let me show you my shirt. It's a silly rabbit. Easter is for Jesus. <laughs> I made that with my Cricut. Um, the next, the back side's gonna be so simple and easy that you're gonna be like, wait, what happened? Um, we're just gonna put a few things up there and be done with it because the back side does not get seen that much. This came from Hobby Lobby. You have all seen it before. We're gonna put that right there. And then I've got another little home interior rabbit set from the 90s that I have had for 100 years. Well, since the 90s. Uh, we're gonna put that there and then we're gonna put a little ball of greenery. And then next tier up, I've got this little Easter blessing. Actually, hold on, let me put a little doily. I did add some doilies on the other side that you didn't see. Um, I'll have to show them to you later, but I'm trying to add some doilies in here to add another layer of, um, what do you call, texture? Yeah. So this little uh, brown sign here is going to be tucked right here behind this little bunny, and I did add that doily. And then I have these little bunnies that I've had for a long, long time. One's hula hooping and one's jump roping. So I'm going to put one here and one here. And then for the top, I'm just gonna put this vintage postcard. This postcard was actually my grandmother's and my Aunt Susie, when she was a little girl, used to play with them, they, but they belong to my grandma. You can actually see where my Aunt Susie wrote from Susie on the top of them. I think she must have liked to play with them. It was something she enjoyed, but she must have been old enough to write in cursive because 
it's um you know she she had her cursive started so we're just going to tuck that right there at the top and i will show you a close-up of everything and then well let me fix this real quick this is bothering me okay and then i will um clean off the table and we're going to put our dishes down i forgot to show you me i forgot to show you where i added the little green moss balls here but here's the top tier and then the second tier is right here. That is hiding my beautiful little bunny, so I need to fix that. And then the third tier with the moss balls added down to the bottom. So that is the back of the tier tray. So now I'm gonna get all this cleaned up, what's left over, and we're gonna get these dishes set out and get our place setting. Okay, so I just went ahead and put the plates down. I used the brown chargers this time. I have white ones, I have brown ones, I have different ones, and those are the ones that I chose. Now, let me show you something. I've changed a little something in the tear tray because this yellow, that's what I want, right? The tear tray was pretty, but it had no yellow in it. So, let me show you what I did, and you tell me what you think. So, I added these daffodils. What are those? Are those daffodils? Yeah. I added the daffodils instead of the greenery, and then you know that pink Easter sign that was here? I am spray painting it. It's outside right now drying. And I want some yellow in here. So that's what I did. I can always, <laughs> Lord have mercy. I can always go get another one if I hate it or whatever. But I just feel like that tray needed some yellow because it just wasn't matching all of that. And it needed to be more cohesive. So there's all the plates set out. There's the cheer tray. Picture a yellow Easter right there. I'll show it to you when it's all done and dried, but for now, just picture it as yellow. And I wish I had something yellow to come up here, but I just don't. Not right now. Maybe I'll find something later. And I might add some glasses. Uh, I need to go look in my stash in there. And then the other thing that I've done, I've been slowly moving all of my like kitschy Easter stuff in here. And I think what I'm going to do I'm gonna put the tree in here, the Easter tree, maybe. Still thinking about it. And I think I'm gonna redo my little, do you remember at Christmas when I took all these down and I had a kitschy little Christmas shelf? I think I might do that with the Easter stuff. Not 100%, but that's what I'm thinking. I think it's gonna be cute and I think you guys will enjoy seeing that being put together. So, okay, so we got this almost done. I'll, I'll show you the finished product soon. I got to put something up here to replace those canisters. I got to do the kitchen. I got to do the mantel. I'll put something over here. I've got a centerpiece for my coffee table and put my pillows out. And I think we're going to be done. So, like, I'm talking about being done and look at all this stuff we've got to put out. Oh, this blanket is coming over here we're going to switch out these blankets or either layer them i'm not sure yet and the plan for the kitchen is to not have to tear everything down and reconstruct everything um i just want to kind of i might have to move this little vignette out of the way but instead of like moving all of this i just want to replace the mushrooms with maybe a rabbit and the same over here instead of having to take all this down just stick a rabbit up there so this is what i've got to work with and 
Um, I ha I'm, I'm missing something. I had a little green wreath to go around that. I'm missing that. I can't find it, but we'll find it shortly. So I'm just going to do this easy and we're just going to make things simple for ourselves. So we're going to take this down and replace it with a little bunny. That little bunny came from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm not saying I won't come back and add something later. Okay. Because I have got a thousand bunnies in the living room that I can use, but for now I just want to get at least started. So this little bunny right here, he came from Marshall's for $7.99, not this year, probably two years ago. And we're just gonna replace these mushrooms that I got from, these mushrooms came from uh, Cracker Barrel and replace the mushrooms with the bunnies and call it a day and be done with that. Okay, sit this over here. This is what we're taking down. All right, and then this little bunny trail sign, I made this. I'm gonna put it behind the stove right here. And then I'm gonna take all this down here. We're gonna replace this towel and put our little spatulas in there. I'm gonna take that owl down and replace that with some bunnies. So I'll set the tripod up for this corner. So let's take down this little vignette here. So first thing we're gonna do is replace the towel for a cute little bunny towel. These probably came from Marshalls. I have two of them, but I'm only using one. We're gonna put that right there. We're gonna put our little bunny spatulas in here. They've already been washed. Um, I love using these things and I need a bigger container to put my utensils in for sure because that one is popping, busting, I mean not popping, busting at the seams. All right, we're gonna take down our sunflower stuff. And all of these green sprigs here are just pieces that have fallen off from other, <laughs> from other bushes. So I stick them in there, they work okay. It's just, they're just a mess. And then I'm gonna take my owl down. Let me just move everything out of the way real quick. I mean, I know I don't, I said I didn't want to deconstruct the kitchen, but this is minimal. This is just one corner, so it'll be fine for just this one corner. Move this. Okay. So I don't know if you guys still like Ray Dunn or not. I have a few pieces that I still enjoy. I definitely enjoy the Easter pieces, but I have this little canister here. I turn the words around because I still enjoy this and I like it. Um, some people still decorate with it, some people don't. I mean, that's that's your prerogative. I, I still do, I still like it, but this one is not Ray Dunn. It's um, Whimsical Cupboard Strawberry Street, but it's very similar. So I'm gonna put that one there. And then finally, I have this little Honey Bunny mug with the lid but I'm gonna turn the honey bunny around. It's not gonna fit perfectly, but it'll be okay. And I'm gonna have to keep the handle on there. We're just gonna keep that like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of spread these pieces of greenery, these sprigs around, and just give it a little more texture. I'll do that in a minute. I won't make you guys watch me. Okay, and then this thing here, I keep up here for my owl lamp. We're gonna put a little doily there, and I've got these two little bunny salt and pepper shakers that came from the Cracker Barrel, I believe is where they came from, and I've got another cloche, and I'm just gonna put that cloche on top of there and sit that right in there. And I think this corner, once I get these sprigs of greenery up, will be all done. Let me do this real quick because I need to get this done. Okay. They, this is a mess. These little sprigs are everywhere. <laughs> but it works, it serves the purpose. I don't wanna throw them away, but they fall off really bad when I buy these. And um, there's one that I painted orange. I just don't want to throw them away. I want to use them. So I'm going to just tuck them in everywhere. Almost done. So 
Sorry, one more. All right, there you go. There's that vignette. Let me show you a close up. So this is the corner that we just redid. I did add that little plate in the back just because I felt like it needed something. I wish I had another wicker sphere, kind of like this one over here to put in that corner, but I do like to put something in the corner in like higher for like a background when I do these corner vignettes. I do like to do that, but I just don't have anything um, perfect to put there right now. So that'll do for now. And that's good for that. And then over here, I'm supposed to have a green, like a little mini reef that I need to find to put around that. I just sit the little bunny inside. The crock pot's not normally sitting there. We're just, that's dinner cooking. And then I've got the little homemade bunny trail. Over here, we've got the one little rabbit in that vignette. I did hang this little cotton tail candy sign. It ideally needs to be a little higher, but that's where the hole in my wall is. So we're gonna leave it there. And then over here we have this little vignette that is just simple. The only thing I did was add the little bunny with the glasses. And then we're gonna come over here next because I need to put something up here on this top shelf. This is a bunny that I got from the Habitat and I don't know what I paid for it. Let's see. I paid $8 for it, but it was originally from TJ Maxx for 20. And I'm gonna take some of this grass and put in here and then put some eggs in there and then I'm going to sit it right up here on this shelf. That's where my little canisters were that I put on my other shelf so I've got to replace it with something else. Mm -hmm. my little cheat sheet from a couple of years ago how it looked but like I said I'm going to use that bunny picture and I have got let me let me show you I'm, I'm on the top of a ladder hold on so you can see me I have got all of these florals that all of them came from Hobby Lobby on clearance or on sale or some sort but um, I keep these in a long tote under my bed and I pull them out you know, for whatever season I need them for, but they're all long stems. So I'm gonna clear off the, hmm, maybe I'm going, wait a minute. I think what I might do is put my pitcher up first and then I'll tuck in the flowers. That way I don't have to tuck the flowers in. Yeah, I'm going to do something. Just sit back and watch and we'll do it together. <laughs> Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone I'm going to start with the white flowers first I have two of these So we're going to put one on each end They have very, very long stems So I just kind of have to tuck them in there But here we go Come on. There we go. Okay. And then I have two other white flowers here that I can use. I have two like this. So I'm going to stick those in there. 
that way I have white everywhere and that'll be like the base color so you do that and then do that and then I have one more style here of white these are the kind that have the soft greenery but I do have four of these so I'm gonna put those up to where they're evenly spaced So I have them, that way I know that they're everywhere. There you go. Okay, and then this one is right here. And this one will go right here. Okay. We'll tweak it when we, as we need to. And then if you can, take your flowers and kind of pick them up a little bit, if they'll bend. You can do that later at, at the end if you want, but I'm just tweaking as I go. Okay, the next most important color that I want to use is yellow because I told you guys that I wanted yellow. But these yellow pieces, I tried to make last a long time. So I cut them down to smaller stems. So I might actually do yellow last so that I know that they're front and center and you're gonna see them. The other two colors I have are pink and blue. And I guess we can go ahead and do, let's do blue, I guess. We'll do that first. See, I have two of these. I think that's all I have of those, yeah. So we'll put those on next. We'll just kind of tuck the blue in there so they blend in with all that white. There is no rhyme or reason to this. We're just tucking in flowers. <laughs> There's no math to it or science to it or anything like that. You just put it where you think it looks pretty. These, well, if I can separate them without tearing them up. I believe I had several like this. so. I'm gonna put these in next. I have one, two, three, one more over here. I have four like that. So I'm gonna tuck those in here. Whoops, that didn't work. The reason that I like to use um, Christmas garland is because when you stick all these flowers in, I just hit myself in the face. When you stick all these flowers in, they catch it. I don't have Christmas garland up there because I just don't, but um, it makes things so much easier when you have it. So right now I just have some sprigs of greenery and it's it's catching it okay, but that Christmas garland really just grabs a hold of it and won't let it move. It makes things easier when you're, when you're decorating. Okay, we're gonna put one here and one here. There we go. So we got some blue, some white. We'll add, I have more blue here actually. Here's two more of these. Let me find a place to put these. Let's put these in the back. Just kind of stick them up like that. That way we'll have a little bit of height back here. Do that and then some pink I have two like this and two like this so let's do right here and right here now I, I know there's nothing in the middle but let me show you something before I go any further. It's easier to do the middle when you've got shorter stems. So I have these little hot pink short stems that came from Joann's. So that's why I'm gonna save these for now. They kind of match and they'll kind of blend together. So I'm gonna put these in the middle and then just mix these long stems in towards the ends. And I also have these 
lighter pit berry stems too that I'm gonna add in in just a second. So let me do the center real quick. I, I work better with smaller stems, really, honestly, but this is what we have to work with. And these have pit berries inside of them. These came from Joann's and they are just really easy to bend and mold the way you want them. So even though they've been bent to tarnation and back, you can just put them right back together and they are good as new. Okay. And let me put those hot pinks towards the end. There we go. And a little hot pink in here. And then I think the final thing we need is our yellow. Oh, I've got those little pit berries I gotta add to. We'll add those in the last. So we're gonna add the yellow in and just stick it anywhere we need some yellow. So all over the place. Because we definitely want to highlight the yellow. Some are longer, some are shorter. Come on, go in there. I'm stuck on something that won't go down. There it goes. Okay, this one's a little long. Okay, and then put some yellow in the center. And I'm just gonna crisscross these last two so you can see them. There we go. All right, that looks good. I think we need something in the middle though. Little something more in the middle. What do we need in the middle? Maybe some blue. And I don't have anything else to add. I'll add these here. Maybe it'll give it some height. It'll be good enough. You can also take those. Um, here, I'll show you. Let me show, show you what they look like. You can also add these things here that came come from Hobby Lobby. They come in the little garland or the picks. And I have two of the picks here. But I think I'm going to use that on my tree maybe. I'm not sure yet. We're going to play around with that tree here in a minute. And there we go. There's our mantle in a jiffy. I'm going to take you down and show you a close-up view. Actually, before I take you down and show you a close-up, I want to show you how to level it up just one more step. So these are little twigs that I have. I use them for different seasons, but these are kind of just a twiggy going everywhere type of direction type thing. It's that way not everything is just not laying down there. You can take them and have them going up and put everything in another direction. It just looks more natural like it's grown that way. I also use these little picks as well. This was a bigger pick, bigger bundle that I broke down. I use these all the time and they just level up a floral arrangement to a whole nother step. The other thing that you can do is, I showed you my little bag earlier that had those little balls um, that I got from the Dollar Tree, but I have this ribbon, and this ribbon comes from Hobby Lobby, and it just looks so natural, and I just love it. And you can just tuck that in there also, and that will level it up another level to, well, bring it up another level too. Um, I also had larger of these balls, but they were so hard to store that I just ended up um, donating them because I just, I didn't have anywhere to keep them. They kept falling on my head every time I opened my decor closet. So I'm going to add a few of those twigs in there, maybe put a little bit of that ribbon and just bring it up one notch.
Been walking down the street so many times My feet know every brick and stone Could wear a blindfold No matter what I do I'm coming home to you And I don't know why Don't know why Don't know why I'm always feeling homesick Oh All I know All I know All I know Is this is where my heart here at our coffee table and I want to fix my little dough bowl up. So I know you can't see that well, but I've got a little doily laying down first and then we're gonna put our dough bowl down. We we'll do that separate. I'll push it back a little bit so you can see it. And then I have two little sprigs of greenery, just simple greenery. We're gonna lay one lane. Actually, I'm sorry, I forgot a step. We're gonna put some of this grass in here first and just spread it out. That's the first thing we're gonna do. All right, second thing we're gonna do is take our greenery and we're gonna have one sprig going this way and one sprig going this way. The last time I did this, I had bigger sprigs of greenery and it was fuller, um, but this is what I can find. This is what I have. And then I have this little bunny. He looks like he's sleeping. I got him at the thrift store what does that say? For $2.58. So we're gonna put him across here just like that. And I've lost something. I've lost my little, I have a bunch of these little stones here that I can't find. I've gotta find those. I'll go get them in a second. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this ribbon and just kind of stick it in here and tuck it in. This ribbon grabs on so quickly that you really don't have to do much. You just lay it down and it just grabs where you want it to go. Um, it's magical. It's just, that's all I need to describe it is it's just magical. So we're going to tuck in a little here, come here, tuck in here, and that's all done. Okay. And then I'm going to put a bunch of these little stones in here when I can find them. And I can also, if I want to, add some of these little balls here as well. Those would be cute. The balls uh, were at Dollar Tree and they come in the darker color and they come in the lighter color. Um, so you can kind of mix them up together if you'd like. I'm gonna grab my stones real quick. Okay, I got them. So we're gonna just add them in there wherever we feel like they need to be. If you ever see these, grab them because they are the best little Easter um, accent, decor accent, uh, yeah, decor accent you could ever buy for a dollar. All right. And I think I'm actually gonna take these little wicker balls out and only use the stones. I'm just more drawn to them. Okay. That is it. That's our little centerpiece. Show you a close up. I'm just gonna go right here on our coffee table. So it's almost five o'clock and I am, well, I got four of the five things done that I wanted to focus on today and get done. And I would have finished the fifth one, but my plans kind of changed when I started putting everything together and realized that the colors were not really meshing together. So I still have the tree to do, but we got the tear tray and the table done. We got the kitchen done. We got the china hutch done. And we got the, we added the mantle afterwards. So we got that done. So the tree would normally go right beside the mantle and it still may end up there, but not tonight. We, I've done all I can do today. And, and I got a lot more done than what I thought I would, honestly. But after church tomorrow, I'm gonna try to finish up. So what I want to do tomorrow, and I believe that's gonna have to be a separate video, I'm sorry, but this video is already entirely too long. Um, 
I want to get that little extra bedroom done and I would like to do that little vintage kitschy shelf because I think that's going to be so cute. So I was originally going to put, you know what? I think what I might do is put my homemade ornaments on that shelf instead of on the tree. And that way I can put the tree out here with just the ornaments that I've you know used in the past and that match everything. And I can still have my tree out here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So tomorrow when I get home, I'm gonna decorate the tree. I'm gonna put it out here on that little table beside that kind of works along with my, um, with my mantle. And then I'm gonna go in the little room there and I'm gonna put all of my cute little vintage kitschy pieces up in there. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I also need to decorate the porch. I don't know that that will be done tomorrow because I think it's still supposed to be raining tomorrow, but we'll see. But that's all we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and try to get it edited and out to you um, as soon as possible. But for now, I'm tired <laughs> and um, I will, you know, in closing, I'll kind of show you a few things that I added that you didn't get to see, but um, it's not a lot. I just put the pillows on the couch and I put a little bunny up, so it's not a whole lot, but I'll add those in. And then the video tomorrow probably won't be quite as long and maybe I'll do like a whole house tour afterwards. So, we'll, I mean, I cannot believe I have to split Easter decor up into two videos. There, there's absolutely no reason for that. That is way too many decorations, just way too many, but what are you going to do about it? All right, guys, I love you all. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.